chatting breeze is when someone's just chatting shit, so they're like, it's that like air. Back home we say, that's air, that's bullshit, because it's like wind passing your ear. That's all these people do, they judge and they say certain things or they say how you're meant to be, and it's like, I ain't hearing it, I'm on my crosser, I'm breezing out, fuck you, I'm gone, suck my dick, live another day, you know what I mean? I want people I appreciate and respect to, I want to make music with them and I need to have a vibe and like kind of be a friend to them before I make music. With Skip, I remember he come, when I was like 12, he come to Northampton and like Northampton, nothing really happens there. And he come and done a show and it was like, I don't know, then for all my boys back home as well, it's like, yo, as if it's like, it becomes real. I'm like, it's, it's just, that's bro in it, it's whatever. I think I sent him like three other tunes before and it was like, ah, uh, yeah. I sent him this and he was like, this one's hard. And then from that, I thought he was taking long. I was like, no, this verse is never coming. And then he was like, bam. One, two, five, doing up breeze. One, two, five is a mo is a, like the engine size of a bike. So it's like a motocross bike. I ride motocross. And that's what I've done all my life. So it's like, one, two, five, doing up breeze. I'm on my bike, I'm riding through my ends. I'm breezing, I'm like, the wind's in my hair. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a vibe. Way too, way too, way too, way too, way too deep. Can't lace night fives, can't kiss my feet. All they do is chat breeze. Right now I'm breezing. When people are chatting shit, there's like two things you can do. You can either just block it out because their breath stinks and you're just like, whatever. Or you get you get angry or you just try to speak some sense. If someone's a dickhead, you gotta make them aware of it so they can change it or consciously do something, you know what I mean? Train spotting, I got babies on my ceiling. So train spotting is a film about a bunch of smackheads, which is like people who do heroin. In the film, a baby dies. It, I think it just dies of a cut death. So when he's withdrawing from heroin and his ceiling, all he sees, he sees the baby crawling. It always stuck with me because people in my life and myself, like I've, addiction's been a big thing. So just withdrawing from certain situations and it's like spending time in my head and seeing that, it's my metaphor of seeing shit and facing up to shit I don't want to face up to. I'm steady plotting that I'm copping because I'm eating. Obviously I can't buy an airline or nothing, I ain't got that kind of money, but I can go and get some nice food or like get some good weed and chill out. Remember when they wouldn't let me in? Now their wage is just a day's per diem. I went to Jamaica, I was just doing my thing and they was all like, Oh, whatever, this is that like some just English you, or they thought I was American. When they found out as an artist, it was a shift. They was like, oh, he's an artist, he's an artist. So it's like one of them things. People generally change because they feel, it's like a numbers thing. They see the numbers and they're like, oh, this is somebody. When you're just a normal person. Way too, way too, way too, way too, way too sweet. Being way too nice. And it's like that thing, good guys never win and stuff, you know? I used to be horrible, man. And now I feel like I've become open to like hugs and love and like trying to spread love. Whereas before I was violent and angry and aggressive and just not really that nice. From the fire, rose of phoenix, where's the fire weed? From the ash, stems a leaf that's representing tea. And even when I die, I come back twice as legendary. Through all the hell and the pain and all the shit, something good comes of it. And then it comes to an end. But then when I come back, I'm just as beautiful as I was, if not better, you know what I mean? So through all the shit, emerges this little bud of life. Tears when I sit in the cemetery. At night, no one tends to go to the graveyard, you know what I mean? So a few times when I've been at low points in my life, I've gone there and reflected on certain things and that I can think like without hearing too much. So it's just tears that like, you go there and release, feel, let loose, let go of everything you hold on to. Go cry, man, cry more. If you don't cry enough, keep crying. Flashbacks, flipping packs, it was ketamine. Huh, now I'm feeling hoarse. Flashbacks, you're remembering the bullshit that you was on. That ketamine's a horse tranquilizer. 
Yeah, well, that's how it originally started or where I heard it from first, you know what I mean? Then feeling hoarse, it's like when you've been out and you're mashed and you've, uh, uh, you're talking like this, like, you right, mate? School of life weren't no course, you're a tourist, only roll with the purest Ace Venturas, huh? You're visiting, you're not here, you're not from here, you can't understand what it's like to be in my position or where I'm from because you're just stopping through. You're just seeing it for one thing. And then I only roll with the purest. I only roll with people that are of good heart, that have strong values and core foundations. And then Ace Ventures, you know, pet detectives, taking care of the animals and making sure the humans eradicate themselves. Inglorious bastards, phenomenal, abdominal, put a hole in an obstacle, yeah, inglorious bastards. Phenomenal, abdominal, put a hole in an obstacle, yeah. Anything that stands in your way, just fucking go through it, like mow it down. If it's standing there just holding up your greatness or your life or whatever you're trying to achieve, you gotta go through it. And actually that relates to anything in life. You could have trouble with your baby mum. You just gotta keep going, you know what I'm saying? Not put a hole in your missus, but it's the metaphor of it. I don't want no one to put no holes in anybody. I just want you to. Keep going, like no matter what, and don't let things people call you bring you down. Like being an inglorious bastard, be proud of it. Some people are annoying, like it's just facts. Some people are annoying, but at the same time, everyone deserves a chance. Like it could be the homeless man in the street. You never know what lesson you're gonna learn from them. So like you have to give everyone the time.